Yo, what's going on guys? And I'm back. Literally left at like 6 in the morning, not 6, like 7.30 in the morning to go help my little sister move in to Mizzou. I go to KU. We're from Maryland. So I just helped her move in. And now I'm back and I saw that Sam Amico of Hoops Wire said that allegedly Carmelo Anthony could is being speculated. There's speculation that Carmelo Anthony could join, rejoin. The Denver Nuggets. Now, before we continue, obviously, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Denver Nuggets fan, NBA fans, would you want to see Carmelo Anthony return to the Denver Nuggets? Which I think he'd actually fit into the roster not too bad. And look, I think this is an interesting thing. So let me hear those thoughts down below in the comment section. And before you leave the comment section or the video, hit that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. 6% of you are subscribed. We're on the way to 10,000, almost at 8,000. Join 150 videos at least a month on every single team, every facet of the NBA, and even some Euro stuff. So it's a good time. Now let's talk about potentially adding our man, Carmelo Anthony, to this Denver Nuggets squad. What would his role be? Yes, I think it's definitely, it definitely be interesting because first off, they have Jeff Green, and you know we expect Michael Porter Jr. to come back. But I think Jeff, obviously, if Carmelo came, Jeff Green's minutes would get slashed, and they also. Like, this is a team, like, they have Jack White on a two-way. Peyton Watson won't play. They have they brought back Devon Reed. DeAndre Jordan, supposedly a locker room guy. Maybe he'll do good. Vlaco Chanchar is a guy who's also a small forward, power forward. Bruce Brown, kind of a, any position. Christian Brown, who I expect will play some, like, 10 to 15 minutes a night, is a guy that would also be affected with Carmelo's minutes. But, so this is what every little update from Sam Miko. First off, Nuggets scouting coordinator John Wallace has bolted to the Timberwolves and, to reunite with Conley. And now this is the speculation that Carmelo, an unrestricted free agent around the league, the speculation is that the Nuggets could potentially look into signing him. Now, Sam Miko does say, for now though, it's mere speculation, sources told Hoops Wire. I just think if you look at the roster, obviously you assume the starting lineup, Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, probably KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and Nikola Jokic. Now, I think Carmelo would, you know, bounce between backing up Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter Jr., Bruce Brown also, and Zeke Nanji would be, I guess, the, see, this would really affect Devon Reed, Zeke Nanji, Vlaco Chanchar, and Jeff Green's minutes. So that's where I get like, how does this work? How does this work? Because Carmelo will come in for shooting. He, sh he had one of the best shooting seasons of his career last year. He's basically the only guy who could hit a shot for the Lakers. And he's not terrible at defense when he tries. And I think being on the Nuggets, especially with Mike Malone as his coach, he would try defensively. And I think this would be the last hurrah, him trying to get a championship team, going back to the team that drafted him. Now, he's going to be playing, you know, the four, the wing, and I doubt he'd be the small ball five. I honestly think small ball five is probably, I mean, Bruce Brown arguably could play small ball five, but he's more of a small ball four. I guess it would be Aaron Gordon if they ever go small ball five. But my thoughts right here with this team, when you look at the roster, I definitely think it's interesting because Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, now, there's other looks where they could go Michael Porter, Contavious Caldwell Pope, Jamal Murray, either Bones Highland, Mike, you know, Brown, Bruce Brown, and go, you know, a little bit more guard heavy and take Aaron Gordon out the game. But if you do have Carmelo, you can run lineups where it's Michael Porter, Jamal Murray, Carmelo Anthony, Nikola Jokic, and that's a lot more shooting and floor spacing, which is the idea. And you're thinking that. Carmelo would definitely like Carmelo last year, you know, stats wise, what he averaged like 10 a game almost or a little over 10 a game, 13.3. Okay. And he's averaged 13 back to back years, shot 37, shot 40% the year before 38. So he's shown that he can hit stat shots and he played about 26 minutes the year before he played 24. Now, Jeff Green was playing 24 minutes, almost 25 minutes for them last year and gave him 10.3. So if you gave him Jeff Green's minutes, I, I don't see why not bring back Carmelo. <laughs> You're not losing anything, to be honest. And I think it's a win-win situation. Maybe bring him on a a cheap deal, a veteran minimum, but obviously would be the contract. I, I think it's worth it, especially if an injury happens in training camp. I see this happening 
Now, I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree? But I don't think there's anything else we can talk about. Like and subscribe. Go check out my NFL channel.